Shalom brothers and sisters, so I don't know about you, I'm sitting here, it's raining, 5-6 days of rain now non-stop outside, it's flooding in some parts of the country, um, here where I live we haven't had water for a few days now, the power is affected all the time and then the rain is making it even worse, so it, it's hectic, but uh, I'm, I'm still grateful for the rain, I prefer it to the heat, it comes with its challenges though and then in other parts of the world there's droughts that there's no water and then there's storms hurricanes cyclones earthquakes in diverse places wars rumors of wars tensions nations against nations brothers against brothers families torn apart death pestilence sickness death of animals in mass death situations all over the place signs in the heavens it's a whole video on its own just to talk about the current ones that are in the heavens above us in the different star systems Meteors and asteroids streaking through the sky and exploding above the UK which hasn't been seen Crazy things are happening the earthquake and the signs in the clouds and all these things happening. It is insane The signs and the warnings are ratcheting up to the next level and then UFOs all over the place suddenly in the open and openly admitted to by professional people and military people without being put a gag order on or anything everything is shouting and screaming and if you start looking at the numbers i'll drill into that a little bit too maybe tomorrow uh, a lot of watchmen are, are watching including me from now till the 15th 16th of february is again a high watch date that ties into dates going back to the first knesset sitting of Israel when they began in 1949 all the way through to now so there's so much stacking up screaming for our very very imminent departure and yes we can't wait I definitely can't wait because the longer we're here the more signs appear the more things come out the more the devil attacks the beloved of God the more he hits us with problems and issues and finances and everything and the more he throws temptations and opportunities to go off the path in front of people to try and derail them before they finish their race stand strong support each other with prayer it's crazy at the moment the darkness is thick and you need to keep your light shining keep watching keep getting excited listen to the visions and dreams that are happening the visions and dreams are super exciting about God saying get ready get your affairs in order don't order stuff on Amazon it probably won't get you on time be prepared the son is about to come and collect his bride all of this is shouting at us and everything is pushing to this point in time and I'm feeling it in my spirit and while I'm feeling that life's becoming more difficult there's more challenges there's more attacks there's everything pushing in and and I've got to stay focused on God and his blessed hope and his promises and this is how it is for you you stay focused on him then you don't focus on the storm raging around us because the only reason a lot of us are still on the top of the water walking on the water where we should be sinking and drowning is because our eyes are on him don't take your eyes off the king now because the storm is raging this is the one time we need to keep our eyes on him consistently all the time it doesn't always feel like it and a lot of times we stress we're human but we're gonna get there he's gonna see us through I mean we're praying for a place to stay we're praying on finances we're praying for attacks against us in our health we're praying for all these things as a body of believers and we're facing all these things consistently and daily but we need to stay positive and focused on God in the storm not listen to the words of the devil and the things spoken against us but to listen to his promises and his love and see his heart for us and let him touch our hearts and still us and let us just be calm in the midst of everything God bless keep looking up your redemption is literally here I don't even want to say anymore that he's at the door the doors open it's probably been removed from its hinges so they can get more angels through he stepped through the door and he's ready to come down I believe it's that close we're at that point in history
And I, for one, when they eventually pry me off Jesus, I'm going to disappear to the naughty corner and nobody must come and scratch me out there. I don't want to come near this place again if I can help it. God bless. Keep spreading the word and snatching as many as you can. And pray, pray, pray. Prayer changes things. God bless you. Shalom.